and wouldn't do for me. All I'd have to do is say, I'm going to call Uncle Jim. And he did what I wanted him to do. Uncle Jim was small, but he was a mighty man. When Uncle Jim was no longer able to drive, he used his walker to go to Allegheny Valley Bank one day. He couldn't make it up the steps of the bank, so he went through the drive through Pat Goodman, one of our officers, caught him going to the drive through and asked him what he was doing. He says, well, I have Will, so I figured I could go through. <laughs> This just shows the determination of my Uncle Jim. I want to thank all of you for this opportunity to talk about my Uncle Jim. He will be greatly missed by all his family and friends. I want to thank everybody once again in dedicating this parade because he loved this parade and he turned out for it, rain or shine. From now on, I want to ask everybody here to do me a favor. Let's keep this Memorial Day parade going year after year in memory of my Uncle Jim. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce the members of Jim's family who are here today. I'm going to ask them to please stand as I read their names or mention their families. And please hold the applause until they're all introduced. Needless to say, we have Jim's daughter, Barbara Borland. Barb, please stand. Jim's son, James T. Wamsley, Jr. I don't know if his wife, Patty's here today or not. Patty? Yes, she is. Sure, she is. His granddaughter, Sherry Braun, and her husband, Herb. Granddaughter, Jamie Radovich. Granddaughter, Dana Velkovich, and her husband, Dan. I don't know if they've made it in today. Also, any of Jim's five grandchildren who are here today, please stand. Oh, I'm sorry, great-grandchildren. Yes, yes. His sister, Margaret Palmer, and any of her family. His sister, Annabelle Cunningham, and any of her family. His sister, Dorothy Roach, and her husband, Jim. His sister, Patricia Murray, and her family. Also, numerous nieces and nephews who are here, please stand. Jim was preceded in death by his wife, Mary, and her maiden name was Neelan. So any of the Neelan family who is here today, please stand. He was also preceded in death by five brothers, John, Robert, Walter Jr., Howard, and Alexander Wamsley. Any of their families that may be here today, please stand. And one sister, Anna Ruth Leah, any of her family that's here today, please stand. Now let's give Jim's family a nice round of applause. This time, ladies and gentlemen, I want to read a resolution for Jim that was passed by Blonox Borough Council last Thursday at our regular council meeting. This resolution reads, Borough Blonox, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, Resolution 2010-06. A resolution of the Council of Borough Blonox, Allegheny County, Pennsylvania, recognizing the dedication and service of James T. Wamsley. Whereas James T. Wamsley served his country in the U.S. Army during World War II as a corporal and medical technician for the 810th Army Air Force Base Unit. And whereas James T. Wamsley received the American Theater Medal, the Good Conduct Medal, and the Victory Medal. And whereas after being honorably discharged from the U.S. Army, James T. Wamsley was dedicated to recognizing the value and the importance of remembering those who served in the armed forces and lost their lives fighting to keep our country free. And whereas James T. Wamsley joined the American Legion O'Hara Post 555 
where he was a member for 62 years and served as commander of the American Legion O'Hara Post 555 for 35 years. And whereas James T. Wamsley was very instrumental in perpetuating the Memorial Day festivities in the borough of Long Ox and the existence of the American Legion O'Hara Post 555. Now therefore be it resolved by the borough of Long Ox as follows. Section 1. The Council of the Borough of Long Ox hereby extends its appreciation and gratitude to James T. Wamsley for, her years, for his years of dedicated service to his country, American Legion of Post 555, and the Borough of Long Ox. Resolved by the Council of Borough of Long Ox on this 27th day of May 2010. Signed by Samuel H. McNaughton, Jr., the President of Council, witnessed by Sherry A. Cordes, the Borough Manager, and examined and approved by myself, Thomas M. Smith, the Mayor. And I'd like Jim and Barb to please come up here. Jim and Barb, on behalf of the Borough of Long Ox, I want to present you both with a copy of this resolution for the remembrance of your father. Jim's son now has a, has a little statement he'd like to make. Okay, I love this country. I love blowing up. Um, if he were here today, he'd want to make sure I thank all the current soldiers, um, servicemen and women, particularly the veterans that are here today. He want me to thank them. I want to thank you for your... Um, they wanted me to wear this Legion hat on my dad, but not being a veteran myself, I don't think um, I should have. I didn't deserve to. But it was okay with the current veterans. Uh, mind if I put this on for one time? Let me give Dad one final salute. We love you, Dad. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to please place your attention to the firing squad at my right and most of yours left <laughs> under, under the direction of Dave Martin. Dave. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please place the flag. I'm going to ask the young man from the Fox Chapel High School band, please play tax.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask John Mulcairn to please play a patriotic sequel. <laughs> 